Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hospital Management System project tutorial. Now in the previous tutorial, we show all the appointment and we also added the approve and cancel option so that the admin can approve or cancel the appointment request. So in this tutorial, we are going to show all the doctor in this admin panel. Now you can already see that we already have the option for add doctor. So we are going to have another sidebar over here and, uh, and if we click that sidebar, it will show us all the doctors. So let's go back to our code and we'll directly go to our resource then views and inside views we have the admin and inside admin we have sidebar.blade.php so inside it we'll just directly go down and here we are going to copy this li control c list and we are going to paste it over here control v and here we are going to say all doctor so let's save it control s so now if we go to our browser and if we refresh here you can see we have another log option called all doctor so when we click all doctor it should show us uh, all the doctor so let's go back to our code and we'll go to and here you can see uh, href over here so let's say over here show doctor doctor so let's save it control s now we will create this show doctor url so we'll go to route then web.php and over here uh, let me just copy this on this route control c control v and, and over here we are just going to say show doctor and let's say the function name will be show doctor as well and we will use the admin controller so let me just uh, save it control s now we will go to our controller then admin controller and here we are going to write the function show doctor so we will say public function show doctor and here we are just going to first return a view so we will say return view and inside it we will say admin dot let's say show doctor so we do not have this show doctor blade so we need to create it inside admin folder so let's go to our admin folder then right click then click new file and here we are going to say show doctor dot blade dot php so control s and save so let me just uh, write something simple over here so inside this so inside this body we are just going to say h on and let's say here show so let's save it control s and let's refresh and if we click show doctor you can see that uh, it show us show so let me go back to our code and here we are going to copy some code and we will directly go to our home.blade.php so we are going to copy everything from here control a control c and we will paste it inside the show doctor bed control v and let me just remove this admin.body so if we now save it and if we refresh here you can see uh, at the url you can see show doctor and there is nothing in the body so we are going to create a table over here so that we can uh, show all the doctor so let's go back to our code and and this time we'll go to our show appointment.blade.php and here and from here we're going to copy this div so control c and we'll paste it over here inside this after the navbar so control v let me just in this div now let me just uh, copy a little bit more from the show appointment uh, let me also copy this div align center style uh, padding top 100 px and we'll paste it inside this div and let me also close the div and now uh, inside this div we are going to copy one more thing which is this table tr so let me just copy it control c and control v so over here you can see uh, inside tr uh, and in the table row we have some table header so here we are going to have our doctor details so if we go to our database and if we go to our doctor table uh, here you can see a doctor has name phone number specialty room and the image so a total of five uh, five column so let me just write them in our code so first of all we are going to say here doctor name and the second one will be phone then specialty after that we will have the room number where the doctor sit so and the last one will be doctor image so we do not uh, require the rest of the parts so let me just remove them and if we just refresh over here you can see the doctor name phone specialty and room number uh, like this over here so now we'll go back to our code again and now this time uh, we'll now directly go to our admin controller 
and since we want to show all the doctor from the database so we need to send the doctor's data from our controller uh, using this function so first of all we will declare a variable we will say dollar data is equal to we will say doctor which is our table name then double clone all so it will get all the doctor's data and store it in this uh, dollar data variable and then we are just going to say comma compact and inside it we will say data so if we save it uh, okay one more thing since we are uh, using this uh, doctor table so we also need to add the doctor model at the top and we already add the model doctor model before so now we will go to our show doctor dot blade dot php so let's go to our show doctor dot blade dot php and here you can see this tr is for the table heading and for table data we need to write another tr so let me just write tr and inside this tr we will have the table data so let me just say td and let me just copy it and i will paste it five times on two three four and five so in, inside this td first of all uh, we need to show the doctor name but uh, before that let me just start a for each loop over here we will say at the top for each and first bracket and we will say dollar data as let's say dollar doctor and this for each loop will end after this tr so we'll say at the rate of end for each and inside this td we'll give two second bracket and here we need to say this variable which is dollar doctor then this arrow sign and we need to say name so let me just copy this doctor name and i'll paste it over here so after name we have the phone number specialty uh, room number and image so here we will say phone and let me just uh, check the spelling specialty in the database okay s p e c i a l t y and uh, the this one will be room so if we save it and if we refresh now here you can see the doctor details over here and, and we do not write the code for the image but uh, before we add image let me just uh, change the design a little bit and let me just go to show appointment again and here you can see that in the td we write this style so let me just copy it ctrl c and i'll paste it inside this tr so ctrl v and if we save it and now if we refresh you can see the background class color is sky blue and the text is in the center so let's now add the image so <coughs> if we go to our admin controller and let me just show you that <coughs> here you can see that we upload the doctor data from this upload function and here you can see we stored the doctor image in this doctor image folder uh, which is inside public folder so if you go to our public folder you will be able to see doctor image over here and here inside it we have a lot of image so for showing the doctor image we first of all uh, need to declare image tag inside the td and inside this source we need to say doctor image then slash then we need to give two second bracket and then let me just copy this dollar doctor room and i'll paste it over here and here instead of room we'll say image so you'll get the uh, specific image uh, in the doctor image folder so if we save it and if we refresh now here you can see the doctor image over here now let me just uh, resize their image length so for it uh, we'll say inside this image we'll say height let's say height will be uh, 100 and let's say width it will be 100 so let's save it and let's refresh so there you go we can see the image for the doctor now we will add two more uh, column over here on will be to delete the doctor data and another on will be for updating their data so for it let's go back to our code again and here and here i am going to copy this th so ctrl c and i'll paste it two times ctrl v and ctrl v so here i am going to say delete and after this we will say update so if we save it now and if we refresh here you can here you can see two more column delete and update so let's go back to our code and this time we'll add two more td over here so let's say here td and here inside this td we'll declare an anchor tag and here we are going to say inside this anchor tag we'll say 
let's say delete and we'll also mention a bootstrap class here and it will be btn ptn danger so after this uh, let me just copy it and paste it over here and this time we'll say instead of delete we'll say update and here uh, instead of danger let's say primary so let's save it and if we refresh now here we can see two more button over here one is for delete and another one is for update so let me show uh, do the delete part first so let's go back to our code and here inside this href we are going to give two second bracket and then we are going to say url to first bracket to single quotation and let's say delete doctor and we need to say here dollar doctor id so dollar doctor this arrow id so let me just explain it uh, so if someone click this delete button then it will get the id for this data and then delete this data so we are actually sending this id to our route so for it now let's go to our route and create this url we will go to web.php and let me just copy this on this route control c control v and here we are going to say delete delete doctor id and let's say our function name will be same delete doctor so now let's save it control s and now we will go to our admin controller let me just go down and here we are going to say public function delete doctor and here uh, we need to set dollar id so let me just explain it again uh, we are sending the specific id to our web.php here you can see the id and uh, our route is sending this id to our admin controller delete doctor function so here we are going to uh, declare a variable we say dollar data is equal to our table name which is doctor double clone and we will say find and inside this find we will say dollar dollar id and now in order to delete it delete that uh, specific data we just need to say dollar data this arrow sign delete so uh, right now we are just going to say return redirect and to first bracket this arrow sign back so after deleting the data we will stay on the same page so let me just save it control s and if we refresh now and let me just delete this one if you click delete it will delete this doctor image doctor data here you can see that doctor is gone now the admin may accidentally click the uh, delete button so whenever the doctor click this delete button uh, will show a message that are you sure so for it uh, let's go back to our code again and we'll go to our show doctor dot blade dot php and here uh, inside this anchor tag we are going to say on click on click then uh, we are going to say return confirm and inside it uh, we'll give two fast bracket and inside it we are just going to say are you sure to delete this so if so if we save it now and if we just refresh here and if we click the delete button here you can see a message are you sure to delete this and if you click ok it will delete the data and if you click cancel it will not delete the data so let me just show you uh, let's click delete then let's click ok so here you can see that the last data is gone so this is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial i will show you how we can update that data from here so thank you very much for watching and uh, and if you have any problem then let me know in the comment section i will try to give you a proper solution so that you can understand it really easily and if you subscribe this channel then you will get the notification for the future laravel tutorial so thanks again for watching stay tuned stay healthy